tonight, men, we are ninja. And tonight, we take what is ours. Hey, excuse me. Uh, sorry, sorry. Just got a quick question. Uh, you think they might have an extra asthma pump there? I sort of left mines at home. Who is that? Though? Yeah. All right, so I'll just tiptoe on out of here. You guys won't even know I left. Sorry. Sorry. It's been a minute since I did a diorama review. I had this bad boy in my pile of loot the other day, and it's not too much to really talk about as far as it goes. But pan out real quick and show you guys just what it looks like. It's got a really good size to it, I think. I'll do some size comparisons. I got a whole bunch of figures lined up. And I didn't realize this is paper. It's one-sided. So yeah, you can rip it, but I do like the way it kind of absorbs the light though. You don't see a whole bunch of reflection. That's cool. These pieces do not actually come with the dial, so I'll just remove that. These were just some things that I made. I forget what these are called, and I don't think they actually go indoors. But yeah, we'll remove those. And this, as you know, comes from that Marvel Legends Snake Eyes thing. So I thought it looked really cool in the dial. But we're going to do a little painting. Just kind of see the little details and stuff. Nice little detail for the wood. You can see the colors and everything. It looks really cool, man. Shading and painting. For what it is, it looks like they put a lot of time in it too, so I appreciate that. Another painting over here. This is probably my one of my favorite ones right here. And both of these have a certain calmness to it. The tiger looks stylized, that's nice. Other paintings here. I think the shading adds a lot of depth to it, so I like that. I do like the gold too for this statue looking thing. I'm not sure exactly what this is called. Got the sword sheaths, some detail for the rug. Look at that, it's got some dirt on it. it looks worn like they had it for a while. That's nice, man. So the instructions say you wanna place this up against something solid. For now, what I used is like some boxes from like some toys and stuff, just kind of taped it on there. And it says you shouldn't secure it just in case you wanted to make it like more modular. But the problem with that is like with this tape that I'm using, I'm using like the painter's tape. And I, I would think that's the, the softest as far as the adhesive uh, and stuff like that. But it's still ripping the back of the paper off. So that is unfortunate. So I will probably end up like just doing something with some foam, maybe cutting it at an angle so that it kind of splays out a little bit. Instead of like just being closed in like that, you just kind of get more space if you do it like that. All right, so I'm just going to throw a couple different figures up here and hopefully this will work just like this. Got your Marvel Legends in there. Get McFarlane. You got the Bernice from Zest Ray Studios. She looks good. The theme is off and she's having some trouble balancing, but yeah, you get the picture. You have your Black Series Darth Maul. And here we have your SH Figure Watch Trunks. This figure is so slick. See what else we got. We got the Dads and Models, Slam Dunk. I uh, forget what this guy's name is. Ukawa. You have the Marvel Legends, Silver Samurai. Here we have your SH Figure Wars, Kid Naruto. Put the Storm Collectibles in there. Throw a Goku in there too. Jaded Toys, stay long. Here we have your Art Bones NYC, the specimen figure. It's always a joy to bring them out. And lastly, for some more sensei action, we have your NECA Leonardo. And he looks good in there too. But yeah, that's pretty much it as far as the diorama goes. I do kind of wish it was out of a more sturdier material rather than just paper. That was a little surprising. But I mean, I guess you kind of get what you pay for. I bought it for like $34.99 on a big bad toy store. And I think if you went to like a collector and had them do it, you probably end up paying a little bit more. So unless you have a printer or something like that, I kind of wish I had me a printer. I probably wouldn't have bought this if I had a printer. But that being said, I don't regret making the purchase. It's a pretty cool addition. You know, you will get some mileage out of it. And it's, I like that it has all sides too. It doesn't have a cylinder, of course, but you don't really need that too much. But yeah, I think it's a cool diorama. And um, yeah, I would say I would recommend it. All right, y'all, that's my video. I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Me trying to measure this thing was all over the place, but it measures just under 11 inches high and under 17 inches long, so not quite 17 inches.